welcome to my weekly vlog i am so excited i started this weekly vlog tuesday yesterday was sean's birthday we had a lovely day we went out for a meal with his family i took him for breakfast in the morning and we just had a chill one but i decided not to vlog it i just i didn't want to so i didn't but starting the weekly vlog on a tuesday it's currently tuesday pm i'm so excited so this is the week that i start my six week pole dancing i cannot wait if you've seen a few weeks ago i did a one-to-one -one session with toxic cherry and i'm going to her six week course which ah, i'm so excited okay i'm really really excited um so i'm ready i've did me tan just because it gives us a bit of confidence having me tan done um so these little knickers well they're not actually knickers it's swim i'm just like whacking my pants off but it's actually swimming shorts but i really like the material and they're perfect for pole dancing so i got these ones off cup shade they're really cute because they have the little buttons um so i'm wearing these but i'm just putting this over because absolutely freezing and then in the studio i'll take it off i have a little blue vest top on and then a hoodie just to keep us warm and i'm just probably gonna put flip-flops or something on but yeah i have did me tan just to make us feel a bit better i just like tan i've did a little bit of makeup but it's probably gonna get all sweated off but i do have um i'm gonna pack this big blue bag with all my essentials that i need me water i'm gonna take me watch just me bits and bobs are gonna go in here um and everything that i need i'll need a flannel as well to wipe me sweat it was so funny because the first session i done with cherry I was like, oh, I'm just going to go and get me towel. And she was like, oh, there's a towel here to wipe the pole. I was like, love, it ain't for the pole. It's for the sweat dripping off my head. She was creased. But um, yeah, so I need to take a towel because I get very sweaty. I've, is this cringe, right? I swear to God, I'm going to sound like such a teacher's pet. But I'm not. I never was. I never was. I was like, just, I just hate school. Like, I wasn't a teacher's pet. I'm not a teacher's pet, okay? Nothing wrong with being a teacher's pet, but I am not one. But... I have got cherry a little present is that really cringe okay all it is i've just wrapped it up and it's in here and it's just a little wellness book because i always say i um repost quotes for like manifestation i really think she's into like um like manifestation and stuff i think i could be totally wrong but i hope she is and this is like a self-love journal which it's just really well guided and i really like it i have one myself so i got cherry one i also have her a little card just to say thank you for the first session that we had together because I've never met someone and walked out of a room feeling as confident, like inspired and sexy as I did with Cherry in that one-to-one. -one. And I know this is probably really cringe, but I decided that I'd get her a little present. Um, but yeah, and then in here I have the rest of the fee that I need to pay for my fashion. I actually can't, fucking hell, I actually can't wait. But yeah, I got her a little present to cringe, I know. But me and Cherry have been working out. Obviously, I really want to document my full pole dancing experience because not only have so many of you said it's given you so much confidence to try something you want, it's just for me, it's progression. I want to say it. So I've spoke to Cherry. I am going to be able to fill in my sessions. So I need to take both my tripods and get all that sorted. But I am ridiculously excited. I've just had my tea, um, which was very nice. Sean made it. It was like pasta with a few sweet potato fries. I will go away next week to Bainland, which I'm really, really excited for. That is current update. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I need to make this weekly vlog better than last week's and what the fuck that was. It was absolutely atrocious, wasn't it? Sorry. Um, I honestly thought though, like I, I swear down, I felt like I was vlogging quite a lot last week. So I don't know if footage has gone missing, but when I went on the camera, there was bugger all there. And I was like, clearly thought I got more footage than I did. Right, I need to get the rest of me belongings sorted. And I will be off.
you guys, I'm really sorry if you can, can't hear us because of the noise. I'm in a cafe. I'm in 1901 in Trinity Church, Desmond. I'm meeting Jess. Yes. <laughs> I literally just said I was meeting you when you appeared. <laughs> um, I was in a bit of a rush this morning, so I didn't have the time to even tell you what I'm doing. But I'm basically going to be out till like half three because I have, it's all right, because I have um, a day full of like basically back to back meetings. And the first one is with Jess. <laughs> We're getting breakfast, I'm really excited. I'm getting like a, I think it's like a vegan sausage panini thing. Um, and then I went for a juice and a coffee because I'm really thirsty but yeah breakfast with Jess I very kindly got invited into the new Eldon Square Bra Vismo shop to go and have a look at some of the new bras and sports bras they had in and also get a fitting as you can see here my bra did not fit me correctly at all I was wearing a 40g when I walked into the fitting room and from consultation of trying on different bras and different styles I actually came out with a 36 um, HH so my bra was definitely not fitting me correctly at all and did you know 70 percent of women actually have bras that don't fit them it's so important that we're wearing the right bras Visimo actually offer online and in-store fitting so I'll have all the information below if you feel like your bra doesn't fit properly and want to go and get your own consultation the staff was so lovely and friendly and I felt so comfortable and I found the perfect bras which I'm so excited about so I'm back home now, I've had a quick little outfit change because tonight we're going for a meal for my mum's partner's um, birthday. I'm going to show you the outfit. So I've gone for my teddy coat just because it is a bit cold. This skirt which I got in Primark today, I love the colours of it and I've paired it with a little green top. And then I am wearing heels because there's not going to be that much walking so I thought I can hack heels. But yeah, I quite like this outfit, I think it's quite cute. But yeah, that's what I've gone for. Um, we're going to Tomahawk and they've got vegan duck pancakes which I'm really excited for because I feel like I always could just get a burger so it's going to be a nice change to get that, I'm very excited. So it's Neil's birthday of the day, the 15th of March. Woo woo! 62. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I've always been sick when it comes to numbers. Oh, right. <laughs> and Sean's birthday was Monday, 28. Is that old on that side? We're young. Me and you. Raining, pouring, old man fucking snoring. It's pissing it down. Just had my hair blow dried a Dyson and it's dropped out because of the fucking rain. Ooh, thunder. I actually don't like thunder. Mm. My bloody whip bits are covered in hailstones. Luna, Lou, it's all on her face. Oh, you're not impressed, are you, love? She's got little marks on her face. You being mummy's little colleague for the day. You're doing such a good job there, mind. You're doing such a good job. You're so handsome. You're so handsome, Henry. <laughs> just don't know why you had to do it. I don't. I'm really, really, really upset. I am, Henry, and I think it was you. And I'm upset about it, Henry. Guys, I was working downstairs. 
just in the office. They'd let them sell into this room, which I usually shut the door, this room, because I have clothes and shoes around. And somehow they've got in and Henry's chewed my favourite heels. I'm really, really, really upset with him. I already had the green pair that I loved and chewed them. He's got a problem with chewing and I don't know what it is. Like, would being on the walk, would, like, he'd, like, he's got enrichment plate, he's got toys downstairs and he still goes for my shoe. He still chews the shoe. Do you mind? That's absolutely disgusting. Oi, I don't want to hear that. I only hear you licking your bum. I don't want to hear that. I don't. But it's so funny when you try and be angry at your dogs and you just can't be. What are you, what are you looking at? Who's out? Can't stalk the neighbours, guys. Come on. I feel like we'll have to be a bit secretive about it if we're gonna do it. No? Do you think we can not not do it so obvious? He's make me laugh. Mm. Who makes me laugh? Mm. Used to. Used to do. You make us cry. You make us laugh. You make us happy more than anything. Even if I am a, sh a shoe. Even if I am a pair of shoes less. You make us happy. Oh, I don't fight. I can't be asked with it. I can't be asked with fighting. We're all friends now. We've had a stressful day. But don't go for it again. This is the shoe. I'm debating is it still wearable? <sighs> Actually, these shoes are so comfortable as well. Like, so comfortable. Like, from the front, we're all good, but the, the, the back is, um, would you still wear them or is it time for them to go? I love them so much though. Any other shoe, but just not that shoe. Right, it's Saturday and me, Sean, the pups, my mum and Neil and Dolly are going on holiday. Monday, but it's Mother's Day tomorrow. I'm taking my mum out for a meal with my brother Brad, which I'm really excited for. I've never did anything like that on Mother's Day, but Brad kind of lives with his girlfriend in uni accommodation at the minute. Obviously, I've moved out, so I thought it would be nice for the three of us to actually go and have a meal together, so that would be nice. This morning has been busy. I went and got my nails done first thing this morning. I went for my buy app as usual, but look, I got them shortened, squared off, and then I got a tiny bit of nail art. I'm having a bit of a problem at the minute not chewing the biap off. I keep separating it from my nail and then like peeling it off. If you've got biap, you'll know it's really satisfying. But I've had to stop doing it. So I thought if I get my nails short and get a little bit of art on them, it might prevent us from like chewing them because I look at them and think they're cute nails. And I actually love them. I actually think I really like them short. I think I prefer them over longer nails. I think. Anyway, I've been out and about today getting the last bits I wanted to pick up for Mother's Day. Because for Mother's Day, I obviously buy for my mum. I buy for um, my grandma and my nana. Just something little I always have. And then obviously I just needed to make sure that Sean had stuff for his mum as well. So I picked up a few extra little bits for her. So yeah, I needed to get all of that sorted. Which I need to just kind of like organise everything. Put it into people's pile and just work out what I've got for people.
and that is them done so i have my mams me nana's me grandma's and sean's mams all ready for tomorrow i felt like it took us quite a long time to wrap them presents but i was like sorting them all out but they're done and dusted that's a job ticked off um so sean is on night shift tonight and i've got my grandma staying over i haven't seen her in well i've seen her but like i haven't she hasn't stayed over in a few weeks um one thing or another so it'll be nice to have her stay because next week I'm away in Bainland with obviously Sean and the pups and everyone like I said before so yeah I'm actually really hungry I need to make some food um I've been loving these vegan chicken breasts I'm glad that I got them done I love wrapping but I feel like when there's so much to wrap and I know I need to wrap it and there's a pressure I get overwhelmed but it's done is dad making you the lunch tomorrow for mother's day yeah and he's bought all the stuff oh has he oh that's nice yeah I can't read what the... I think it just says cheers to you again. This is nice, isn't it? Feels so. What do you think it is, Emma? Oh, Demi, that's lovely. I thought you would like that. It's lovely. See and what? then if I need exchange it, I can do it can when just, I get back from yeah, it. Yeah, you can just keep it and exchange it. Well, if you like the design of it, do you? Yes, yes, it's very nice. Yeah, where did you get it, Lip? Just online. All right. No, I meant has it come from America or China? Oh, no, or... no, no. This is... Oh, plant. Plant, Lip. Me nuts. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you very much. It's all right. It comes with a little pot, so it'd be yeah. kind of just to put them straight in. The one, I've got the ones that your mother gave me. I've got oh, some of them you? growing on in the oh. hallway. Shower gel. You can never go wrong, can you? Nah. It smells nice, that one, actually. I really like the smell. I bought myself one. <laughs> Palmolive, Memories of Nature, Berry Picnic. Yeah? It's nice and fruity. Oh, it is. Mm. You want to smell? You know like, to go smell? Go on, then. <laughs> you want to smell? You can't. Oh, it's biscuits. Little cherry that's, ones. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, it's not too big. Is it? You look lovely. Do you like it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Right, go on then, model for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how I look? Well, you always do. You never stand. You never stand like that, do you? No. You always go. Put a leg out. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. I really like that jumper on you. Yeah. It's cute. Yes, it's nice. It's a nice length as well. And it suits the trousers, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And the, like you said, the little top you've got on and underneath. the top's perfect with it. Oh, well. So you want to keep that size? Oh, yeah. It is currently Sunday, Mother's Day, the day that this video will be going live, but I'm going to put it live later because I want to vlog today. I'm taking my mum out for a meal with my brother, so I've just gone for this little blue shirt which I've tied up black leggings my um trainers yeah i've kind of like sort of blow dried my hair out well i haven't like blow dry it i used my um mark hill pick and mix thing to give it a blow dry effect and i, I like it it's a bit bouncy um and i came into the office to grab the camera because i was like oh i'll take the camera because i'm on a vlog and all morning and i didn't even realize sean had left us a card some vegan donuts and some flowers oh my god look from the pups, I was like, absolutely no way. So, yeah, happy sure. Mother's Day to ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're in the cannon, here's Brad, fluffy hair. We're in the cannon having a meal. It's like a traditional like pub, but it's so good, the food I want. Um, but um, it's really like traditional home cooked food and I'm really excited, I've gone full like pig mode because Sunday lunch is like one of my favourites. I've got vegan nut roast, two a side of two vegan sausages and roasties, which I'm very excited for. Come on then. 
I've got mints and dumplings. Um, Can you keep it still? Stabilization's going to be terrible. Oh, you okay guys, we have been hectic getting ready for tomorrow because we're going away tomorrow. So we've been cleaning the house because I don't know about anybody else, but I have to come back to a fresh house. So me and Sean have been cleaning the house, packing our stuff. So I'm just editing the weekly vlog now for it to go live. Thank you so much for watching another weekly vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and tomorrow tomorrow next week's weekly vlog will be um a holiday vlog which i'm really excited for however i have got two midweek videos scheduled next week i've got a one on wednesday and a one on friday which i'm really looking forward to so yeah thank you so much for watching this one and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye